It's Freyal again. In our last two episodes, we learned the letters and the vowels. Today, we're going to take an example of each letter. Let's start with Aleph. The word ananas, which means pineapple, begins with Aleph. Notice the fatha above the Aleph, as well as above the two nuns. After Aleph comes Ba. The word bin, which means girl, begins with ba. Then we have the letter ta. The word teen, which means fig, begins with the letter ta. On teen, you'll notice the gusrel below the ta. Then we have the letter sa. The word thalaja, which means refrigerator, begins with the letter sa. The word thalaja has a shadda above the lamb. After that, we have jim. The word jamal, which means camel, begins with jim. You'll see fatha above the jim and above the meme. Then we have ha. The word hadika, which means garden, begins with ha. You'll see in hadika a fatha above the ha and a kasra below the dal. The next letter is Ha. The word chubs, which means bread, begins with ha. Above the ha in chubs, you'll see a dhamma. Then we have dal. The word dub, which means bear, begins with dal. You'll notice on this one a dhamma above the dal. Then we have the letter dal. The word dhab, which means gold, like my scarf, begins with dal. The next letter is ra. The word rajul, which means man, begins with ra. On rajul, you'll notice a dhamma above the jim. Then we have the letter zain. The word zahra, which means flower, begins with zain. On zahra, you'll notice a sukun on the ha. The next letter is seen. The word samaka, which means fish, begins with seen. On samaka, you'll notice a fatha above the seen, meme, and the ka. Next, we have the letter sheen. The word shams, which means sun, begins with the letter sheen. On shams, you'll notice a sukun on the meme. Then, we have the letter sod. The word soif, which means summer, begins with Sod. On say, you'll notice a sukun on the ya. Yeah. Next, we have the letter dod. The word dufa, which means frog, begins with dod. Notice the dhamma on the dod and the sukun on the fa. Thanks for watching part one with me. Be sure to subscribe to catch the rest of the letters in part two. To learn more than just these basic examples, be sure to register for your risk-free enrollment at www.olifearabic.com. Until next time, mas mama! The next letter is sheen. The word shams, which means sun, begins with sheen. Sheen. <laughs>